the subject of Israel always comes up. Giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha Bashim Rakal Kodash. This is a video that Vokai Malone put up um, actually four hours ago. And uh, it's the title of the video is Jabari Adam and Vocab Live Q&A on Sarnetta TV Part 2. And this is 5 minutes and 22 seconds in. You can go back a little bit, maybe to 4 minutes, because they speak about the rape thing and uh, paying uh, the father of the daughter that's been raped 50 shekels of silver, and he can't put the daughter away. Anyway, let's pick up here on 522. And I don't know how long this is going to be. I might say a lot of words on it. I might bring out a lot of precepts. But they did mention the Israelites. You know, these guys right here are into the comedic way. But these, these are Christians, apologists, vocab over here. And Adam Coleman over here, as you can see. And Jab Jabari and uh, Sarnetta. And it, it's, it always goes, it always, it all, the, the subject always leads to uh, um, being an Israelite or, or Israelism, as Vocat would say. So let's listen and I'll see where I'll go with this. So, uh, secondly, you know, when it comes to uh, who are the Israelites, I answer that in two ways. Genetically speaking, when you're talking about this pure bloodline, I think that uh, Israelites have been dispersed in such a way that, you know, there are various different shades. I don't think they're just like, you know, one group of people over in physical Israel. There's various different shades. So oh, good, good. Okay, Adam Coleman made a good point, an excellent point. As a matter of fact, let me. I want to hear that again. In defense, that's that's what it is. A degree. So, uh, secondly, you know, when it comes to uh, who are the Israelites, I answer that in two ways. Genetically speaking, when you're talking about just pure bloodline, I think that uh, Israelites have been dispersed in such a way that you know there, there are various different shades. I don't think they're just like you know one. Which is true. Which is true group people over in physical Israel. Okay, good, good. I'm glad he said that. There's not one physical uh, people, Israel, in the land of Israel. That uh, the Israelites are scattered. So is it possible that Adam Coleman could be an Israelite? Is it possible that Sarnetta could be an Israelite? Is it possible that Jabari could be an Israelite? And I want to say the unspeakable. Is it possible that Vokat could be an Israelite? Let's hope not. Let's hope he's an Edomite, because we want we want him in slavery. <laughs> so let's listen to a little bit more. Let's see where the spirit goes with this. Based on so forth. Spiritually speaking, I look at Romans nine. Uh, true Israel. Boy, you shouldn't mention Romans nine, but let's listen. Or those who, uh, by grace and faith, are a part of God's kingdom, you know, through Jesus Christ. The response to what Jabari said. I don't know why he keeps misrepresenting me, but nevertheless. I, I got to hear that again, and I got to go to Romans. I think that uh, Israelites have been dispersed in such a way that, you know, there are various different shades. I don't think they're just like, you know, one group of people over in physical Israel. There's various different shades, so on and so forth. Spiritually speaking, I look at Romans 9. Uh, true Israel are those who, uh, by grace and faith, are a part of God's kingdom, you know, through Jesus Christ. The response to what Jabari said... I and he said, spiritually speaking, um, Paul's, Paul does not call the Israelites... Uh, a spiritual Israel, Israelite um, in Romans 9. Let's go to Romans 9 real quick. Camera's acting up. That's okay. I'm going to put this up raw anyway. Okay, Romans. Chapter 9. This camera's getting ready to die, so. Where's Romans chapter 9? Try that again. Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 9. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'll breeze through it.
Um, this is the, the Apostle Paul. I say the truth in the Messiah. I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and can you continue sorrow in my heart if I can wish that myself were cursed uh, from the Messiah, from my brother, my kinsman, physical, physical, uh, according to the flesh, physical, who are Israelites. So who is he talking to? He's talking to the physical Israelites, his brethren, according to the f uh, flesh, his kinsmen. Let me look at the word kinsmen. Kinsmen. Strong's G forty seven seventy three. Sungenes. 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 Ge gen os means kindred, offspring, family, stock, tribe, nation. And Soon or with, oh, with nation, with family, with tribe, meaning there's a physical. Let's come back. Yeah, Adam Coleman should have never brought the scripture out. Anyway, uh, for my brother, my kingdom, and according to the flesh, who are Israelites, physical Israel, this has nothing to do with spiritual Israel, meaning. You might be an Edomite, but you're a spiritual Israel. No, that's not in this uh, uh, chapter right here. It said, who are Israelites to whom pertain of the adoption, physical Israel, the adoption and the glory, which is the kingdom and the covenants, which is, there's two covenants. Israel received both. And the giving of the law and the services of the Most High and the promises, whose are of the fathers, physical and of whom as concerning the flesh the Messiah came the, the physical Messiah died on a physical cross gave up his spiritual spirit came back his spirit came back in his body he rose as a physical man and um, he left and um, the the uh, his, his apostles took over Nine verse again, who are who are the fathers, physical fathers, and of whom as concerning the flesh the Messiah came, who is over all the most high blessed forever and forever, so be it. Then it mentions Edom, the physical Edom. Eleven verse, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, this is talking about Jacob and Esau, that the purpose of the Most High according to the elect election might stand because the Most High elected Jacob, even though he was a younger son, not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. The elder is Esau, he shall serve, and he did serve us, and he's going to serve us again. As it is written, Jacob has I, have I loved, and Esau have I hated. The physical Jacob has he has he loved, and the physical Esau have he hated. So Adam Coleman, you you pulled up pulled out the wrong scripture. Anyway, with that I'm gonna say shalom.